Hi, I'm Marjorie Aikens. I've been around here at this church since the very beginning. And I'm going to tell you about some of the history. But first of all, I want to introduce you to my late husband, Don. I'm going to refer to him, uh, and I did want you to see what he was about. Yeah, he oftentimes wore a Hawaiian shirt. In the fall of 1962, a remarkable couple came to Palm Springs, Dick and Joanne Haddon, both just two years out of the School of Theology in Boston. Dick was a young man assigned by the conference to start a Methodist congregation right here in Palm Springs. Additionally, the conference had purchased five acres of formerly Indian land on which a church was to be built. This was to be an exciting journey. Don and I had never done anything like this before. Uh, the Methodist church I grew up in was founded in 1868. And I assure you that traditions and everything were well established. <laughs> and uh, there weren't changes, excepting we had a wonderful MYF, that's a Methodist Youth Fellowship. And uh, we could be innovative and do wonderful, wonderful things there. Dick talked about the teachings of 20th century scholars and theologians. Wow. I never heard anything like that in the church I'd grown up in. Don and I received a phone call from Dick and asked us to attend a gathering he was having at he and Joanne's home, uh, where we learned about what was to be our journey with the Methodist Church. There were, I suppose, only maybe 10 people there, maybe 15. Very soon, we started attending services at Weefel's Mortuary. Um, I think that went on for about six or eight weeks and it, was, it really worked fine. They had a nice little chapel that we used. Meanwhile, Temple Isaiah reached out to us. They offered us the use of their facility. Uh, Dick asked me and two others to join him and we met with the uh, trustees, or I guess they are called the director, board of directors at the temple. They were very nice and kind and welcoming to us, and they offered us the use of their facilities for our Sunday, Sunday morning worship service and places for Sunday school. We developed a deep and caring friendship with Temple Isaiah and with many of the members there. And there is a plaque in our narthex commemorating this and a, an identical plaque also at Temple Isaiah. I was appointed to the building committee for our congregation. There were almost seven, us, seven of us, I think, including another woman. She was a banker. We visited several church facilities in Southern California, and then we selected two architects to interview. One architect designed many churches in the area in Southern California, and they were very functional uh, and popular at the time, but not inspiring to me. Hal Whittemore stood out because he designed beautiful and distinctive sanctuaries. We as a building committee agreed that Hal Whittemore should be our architect. And he toured the valley and reported to us that there were two new buildings that he saw that reflected the desert. Uh, he pointed out College of the Desert which was new at the time. And also there was, a, there is a bank building in the corner of uh, Ramon and uh, Indian. It was a security bank then, but both he felt really were appropriate and reflected the desert. Unlike several of the buildings on Palm Canyon that looked like they had been transplanted here from Century City.
after much discussion and thought, the building committee decided that our first building should be a chapel, not a social hall, which was the usual for new churches starting their first building. It could be a multi-purpose thing. It could be the sanctuary. It could be the fellowship hall. It could be a lot of wonderful things. But we felt we needed a significant building in Palm Springs to attract attention and to make a statement about who we were and here we are. And a social hall at the back of the property was not that. One of our building committee members, Keen Larson, felt very strongly about that big, beautiful west window with the exquisite view of the mountains. Keen convinced us of the importance of that window in spite of the heat and the sunlight and the problems that it would probably cause us. And I'd like to tell you just a little bit about Keen Larson. He, Keen and his wife were charter members, of course, and they were grape growers and they had a big family, which was wonderful for a church just starting. Garza had five kids. Um, later on, Corky, his wife, became a school board member, later on a super county supervisor. She went to law school. And uh, if you know of the courthouse or justice center in Indio, the Larson Justice Center is named after Corky. Hal Whittemore specified poured concrete walls for the chapel to give us the feeling of permanence and also the lower maintenance that we were seeking. We were well aware that maintenance could be a big problem with the harsh conditions on the desert. The cross sculpture outside the chapel, as well as the stained glass picture, the carved pulpit, were all artistic ideas from Mr. Whittemore, and he knew the artists that could do that for us. And somewhere around here, there is a beautiful sculpted communion cup. Uh, however, <laughs> there were not too many, many ministers that could hold that uh, communion cup for long. I think Lloyd Sajan was the only one that would last through, last through the years with that. Our plot plan, which is still around here someplace, uh, called for eventually a large sanctuary to be built in the, where we now have the West parking lot and the Walker Smith building. We also, on the plot plan, had a fellowship hall about where it is now, as well as Sunday school buildings. Well, it became apparent that a great big sanctuary wasn't going to happen after a while. The uh, administration building that we have was built at the same time as this chapel. Um, it, minus the uh, second story that we had hoped to have for Sunday school rooms. This was all a huge undertaking for a small group of inspired and inspiring members. It seemed like an enormous amount of money. We even had to pay the conference for the five acres that they had purchased, but we did it and we have been debt free for years and years. Thank you, church family. You are very special to me, as is this beautiful building.